Okie dokie, ask Gary the chapter two. So this chapter, this chapter was titled Starting Out. Read the notes, I'm going to talk about it. And then as always, the notes, all of them for the entire book will be linked in the description below in one little Google Docs page for people to look at. So chapters two, starting out. I'm going to read them, and then I'll go through them. So just go for it. If you fail, at least you tried and know you did your best. Use your resources and become a situation finder or a solution finder and a hustler. And money is your oxygen. So starting out, first one is just go for it. There's one question in there that I've read like four times the answer to. It's like, what if you want to do this and become an entrepreneur, but your mom doesn't want you to? Then just go for it. Just do it. Because at the end of the day, you're either going to prove yourself right or her right. And if you know at the end of the day, you tried and you did your best, you gave it your all and it wasn't for you, you'll have solace in knowing that even though I had this aspiration to be a business owner, then it didn't happen. And it didn't happen because you couldn't make it happen. And so you'll have the solace in knowing that, hey, I guess it wasn't for me because I did try it, I did go for it, and I did shoot for the stars, and I didn't land there. I shot for the moon, and I didn't land there. Number two, use your resources. Become a solution finder and a hustler. One of the questions in the book, I remember, I believe it was from this section, a person asked, hey, what if you need money for a tech startup and you don't have the money for a tech startup? Well, where do I, one of them was, where do I find a web developer? And honestly, it was a stupid question, I thought. It's like, go on go online and Google web developer or learn how to be a web developer yourself or an app developer or something like that. And so Google someone in your area, unless it's going to be a small town, you might have to learn how to do it and become that yourself. But kind of that mentality of becoming someone who finds solutions instead of saying, oh, I couldn't do it. You went within your capabilities and there's this rule, I think it's at some, some business company, and they have this 15 minute rule. So you take once you're stuck on a solution, you take 15 minutes on that solution on your own, doing whatever you can to find it. After you've tried for a solid 15 minutes, you write down all the avenues you took and what didn't work and what did work, and you present that to someone who could help you with a solution, and they've seen you put in the effort by yourself to actually try to find a solution. So becoming someone that, hey, I will find a solution even though it's not easy or direct. And then last thing, money is your oxygen. One thing Gary focuses on, even though money... In, even though profit margins are important later, getting those clients as you start out is more important. And so selling things with lower margins and then bringing your margins up later as you get better is more important. But when you're a startup and you have very little money to work with, money is very important in making sure that your focus is, hey, we are getting clients, we are getting business, and making sure that this thing does not die. It's kind of like a little fire. You want to, you need oxygen for it to let it flame up and grow. And you have little tinder, and you need to keep adding wood to that tinder so the fire grows. So, so that's some lessons I learned from starting out from Gary B.